Historically, it's been almost impossible to properly attribute conversions to specific online ads. Today, however, consumer data can be leveraged to find out which ad is moving the needle and which isn't. Just because someone sees an ad doesn't mean it deserves any credit. There's a difference between causality and correlation. Um, you want to know that when that ad is present, does it increase the likelihood that someone's going to convert versus if it's not in there? And that's essentially how our methodology works. If someone sees four media elements and then converts, we'll look at all the people that saw those exact same four media elements and we'll calculate a conversion rate for that path. We'll then go through the data and find all the users that saw a path that had maybe the last three media elements, but not the first one. Mm -hmm. And we'll calculate a conversion rate for that path. Now, if the conversion rates of those two paths are the same, then that first media element doesn't deserve any credit mm -hmm. because it's not budging the needle. Mm -hmm. But if the, ele the, the path without that first element has a dramatically lower conversion rate than the one with that element, it obviously deserves a lot of credit. So we use that almost a, uh, a, a lift analysis when a media element is in a converting path versus when it's not mm -hmm. to figure out how much credit to apply. Now, of course, when you're dealing with an automotive manufacturer and their agency and bu that's buying billions of impressions and all sorts of search uh, media and all sorts of affiliate mobile media, and social media, the permutations and the big data problem of processing all that data becomes really evident. And that's why, um, you know, that's another aspect of our solution that's really important, which is having the infrastructure and the platform to be able to both capture all that data and process all those permutations. You can imagine the permutations are pretty intense. Mm -hmm. But when you do that, it allows you, when you use this approach, it allows you to accurately allocate credit to the media elements that are ultimately driving people to convert.